Hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Cards. We're going to do our little weekend wrap up of week two, I mean of week one in NFL, and then head into week two. Um, we're going to do my guaranteed uh, picks of the week, never fail to lose, and uh, put them on record. And we're going to recap last week's as well to see how we did. And uh, yeah, so do this little fun here on the channel. But as you see, this is what we did last week. Um, I was, I done the basically just pick them as far as teams, which one I decided I thought was going to win that last week. Didn't do too bad, went 11 and 4, so that's pretty good. That's just straight pick them games. And then I did the spread, which is always more challenging. It seems like if you can do almost 500 in that, you're doing pretty good. And I went 9 and 6 last week with all my picks. As you can kind of go down the list a little bit and see which ones I picked. According to last week, I almost got another one, but a, one of my favorite picks of the week was uh, the 49ers and the Detroit, and I lost that by .5, darn it. But either way, it is what it is. Uh, but I was started off like gangbusters there in a row there. As you can see, went down, and then we started getting to the later games and kind of went south a little bit. But uh, did end up with the Monday night pick. Done up pretty good on that one with uh, Vegas and the overtime one. We got... Um, Got the Raiders on that. So we finished up <clears throat> with the spread 9 and 6, 11 and 4 with Pickums. And my favorite picks of the week, I went 3 and 3. So my favorite picks was the Panthers. I won that one. Um, then it was down to the Chargers. Won that one. Then it started going south a little bit with the 49ers. I lost that one. I lost to the Chiefs. Um, I did win with the Rams last week against Chicago. And then. Um, lost to the Packers so eh, it is what it is but that's last week's roundup so if you think you can do better post your picks out there hit me a hashtag or something like that on the comments be more likely to love love to see your picks but let's get into this week's picks me and my son's doing a little competition this week so here's my picks of the week as well for week two and I've got the check marks as far as my favorite ones ones is very good and then of course the um, Two checks is also very good as well. But my picks of the week, I've got basically New Orleans beating my Panthers, and it hurts me to do that. But I'm picking them and also giving up three and a half points with them. Uh, I think that that's uh, a good bet. I put a check mark on that one. My best pick of the week is going to be Cincinnati at Chicago. Getting two and a half points. I think the spread has now moved down to about one and a half now, but that's my three star pick of the week. Um, Houston. I'm picking Cleveland to win that game, but Houston to cover uh, with 13 and a half points this week. So that gets me the two check marks of the week. The Rams, another one. Um, I picked the Rams to win and also give up three and a half points as one of my favorites of the week as well. Uh, Denver, I'm thinking the Jags to win and also with the points. They get six and a half points this week, so I'm going with the Jags this week. Uh, to win it outright as well. Uh, Buffalo giving up three and a half points. Uh, I'm picking Buffalo to win as well. The New England, uh, they're giving up six and a half points, also going with them and taking the points as well, or taking uh, uh, with the uh, minus six and a half. I think they're going to cover that. This was a little tough one here. Um, some of the insiders are saying to bet this is an underscore. I don't know. And pretty favorable matchups on both of them, but I hate to do it, but I'm gonna my my 49ers are my second favorite team, but I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles on this and getting three and a half points, and for them to outright win on that at the Eagles, uh, the Raiders and the Steelers. The Steelers, I think, is going to go away with this one as far as winning heads up, but I do like the Raiders as far as plus six and a half point favorites. That's a lot of points to give up with the NFL. So I like that. Minnesota at Arizona. This is one I probably should have flip-flopped a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and go with my gut and go with Arizona, giving up three and a half points and also taking them to win. Uh, Tampa Bay, man, that's a lot of points. Twelve and a half points to give up, but, I mean, the, the offense on that is just awesome. I mean, uh, all these wide receivers out there, the only question mark is really the running game a little bit, and I got a, like a three-headed monster on that, but nobody's popped out of the backfield to really shine yet. But, I mean, I'm going to pick the Tampa Bay and give up 12.5 points on that. Um, 
That'd be a real good teaser one right there. Um, Dallas and Chargers. I'm going to Dallas, and I'll take three and a half points. I think they'll outright win it this week. They played strong last week, even though they got a loss. Um, do like that team. Uh, Tennessee at the Seahawks. Um, Seahawks, I think, is going to win it. But I think getting six and a half points for Tennessee, I'm picking Tennessee with the points, but Seahawks will win it. KC, I think this is going to be um, – they're 3-0 and against the, the – um, Patrick Mahomes against uh, Lamar, so I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. I'm giving up three and a half points on that one. Uh, it's almost basically a pick'em game because the home field advantage gives you three, but I don't see the reason why that they shouldn't win by you know ten or fifteen points. I'm picking KC and giving up three and a half. And then of course the Monday night game, we got Detroit and Green Bay. Detroit and Green Bay has always played each other, usually pretty close uh, throughout the years. Um, I think Green Bay is definitely going to win this one. They're going to come back with a vengeance to play. But 11.5 points is a lot of points. And I'm going to have to take the points on that one, even though it is at Green Bay, and take 11.5 points. And, but I will pick Green Bay to win. So that's my picks of the week, guaranteed to lose. So there you go. I did place a small little side wager with the Cincinnati and the Rams. We'll see how that turns out. Pull for me in the chat and stuff like that. Hope that turns out pretty good. Uh, my son put his picks in as well. We differed on like two or three different one of them. We just done the spreads because they're harder to pick the spreads. Uh, but, you know, that's my picks of the week. Let's see how they turn out. Uh, but like I said, so far for through week one, I never do the Thursday night games, by the way. I'm 11-4 and four with pick them, 9-6 with the spread, and favorites with 3-3. Three and three. So let's see how we're going to turn out in week two. So um, never have a... Never have a video without opening up something here on the channel. Uh, if you'll check out my prior video, I just pulled this as well. I love that card. Zach Wilson um, Green Optic. I got variation of Zach Wilson. I pulled that out of H2 Hobby Box. Go back and look at that video. But let's open it up a select 2020 products. I like the 2020 quarterbacks a little bit better than the 2021 class. Um, so, And plus, there's a lot more 2020 products out there. So I'd have a lot of those. So ahead and start ripping into this we'll see it gave me a little bit of luck last week when i opened up a hanger right before the week so let's see if i can do this see if we can get some good cards here out of this hanger hangers are bangers right here we go i can get this man boy open there we go i don't want to open up and, and reveal the last card because sometimes it is a field level so we're going to start off here with a nice nick chubb that's a little shine action going there. Let me turn on another side light while I got it on here. Uh, see if it throws a little bit more light. Okay, there we go. Nick Chubb. I'm going to angle the camera down just a little bit too. There we go. Antonio Gandy Golden. Rookie. Concourse. Juju. Joe Reed, we got a silver in the back back here. Don't know what that is, but Cam Akers, rookie. A nice little rookie right there. We'll put that out to the side. Jared Goff. And Denzel Mims is ours at premier level, I think it is. And Thomas Davis Jr. Yeah, no, that's club level. Excuse me, club level. Nice little club level. Denzel Mims. Thomas Davis Sr. And we get into our die cuts. This is where I got me a nice, um, what was it, um, Chargers quarterback last week, Herbert. Peyton Manning, blue. LaMarco P. Ryan, blue. Travis Kelsey. And we got a silver here, Ryan Tannerhill. Ryan Tannerhill. We got another silver behind it, and it is C.D. Lamb. Boy, he had an explosive week, week one. Real good week. Got a loss, but still. Nice one right there at C.D. Lamb. I'll take that. J.J. Watts. Ladarius Sneed. Amari Cooper. Another good player last week. Tom Brady. And our last one is Willie Gay Jr. So not one of the best hangers right there. It's a field level. A nice little linebacker right there. Rookie card. But, you know, not one of the better ones. Um, so I don't know what that's going to mean for week one or week two. So we'll see. But check out my picks of the week. If you want to put your picks below in the comment or you think they're good picks or I messed up on one, 
yeah so be it put them in the comments love to see your picks as well but my picks favorites of the week is kc at minus three and a half dallas at plus three and a half the rams at minus three and a half houston at plus 13 and a half bengals at plus two and a half and new orleans at minus three and a half so thanks everybody for stopping in y'all keep on ripping clark sports cards out